me Ms. Johnson. Well, yeah. Uh, Carol Johnson. Ms. Johnson. <laughs> Ms. Johnson. Is Ms. Johnson in? Possibly. Possibly. Oh, do you have an appointment? Oh, well, no. No, I can see that. I have her calendar right here. It's just, it's, it's just that I was in the neighborhood, and I thought that I would just... But you didn't make an appointment. But, but I didn't know I'd be in the neighborhood. I see. Look. <laughs> look, is Carol... Is Ms. Johnson in or not? Well, I really don't see that that's relevant since you don't have an appointment. But I said I didn't have an appointment. Look, if you would just tell Ms. Johnson I'm in, I would really appreciate it, Mildred. I beg your pardon? Oh, uh, <laughs> Ms. Thomas. Mrs. Thomas. Oh, <laughs> Mrs. Oh, Thomas. Oh, have we met? Well, no, we have Well, you will excuse me. I have a great deal of work to do. Yes. <laughs> But Mrs. Thomas, we talked on the phone. I didn't know your name, but I recognize your voice. I'm doing a proposal for Ms. Johnson uh, for a communication seminar. Communication? Yes. Communication. And we talked about billing, remember? You're in communication. Yes. Do you do your own marketing and self-promotion and things like that? Well, yes, sometimes. Why? Well, because I remember everyone I speak to on the telephone, especially if the conversation is about billing and I don't remember you. And since you're in communications, I thought you might like to know that. <laughs> okay, look, I'm Joan Anderson with JA Communications. I am working on a seminar for Ms. Johnson and I have a proposal she's expecting. Well, now, why didn't you say that when you first came in? Well, I don't know. I must have been distracted. Oh. Well, here you are. Is it Ms. Anderson or Mrs. Anderson? Oh, just call me Joan. Oh, I don't know. I'm separated. He wants me back. I don't know. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Ms. Anderson, just call me Ms. Anderson. What can I do for you, Ms. Anderson? I want to see Miss Johnson. Is she in? Do you have an appointment? <laughs> you know that I don't. Would you like to make an appointment? No, I just want to see her. I have something to show her, something I know she'll want to see. You can just leave that with me. I'll be glad to see that she gets it. No, 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 no. I want to show it to her myself. Is she in? No. No? No. No, I can't see her, or no, she's not in? No, you can't see her because no, she's not in. <laughs> Why couldn't you just tell me that in the first place? I mean, no wonder they need a communication seminar here. Would you like to leave your materials, Mrs. Anderson? Mrs. Anderson, don't oh. you remember Mrs. Thomas? I am oh. I am so <laughs> sorry. We have a new telephone answering system put in place today. It is driving me insane. No one can seem to get through. Oh, listen, I understand. I mean, that stuff just bothers Would you me. like to leave your materials, Ms. Anderson? No. I want to see Ms. Johnson. When will she be back? I'm not authorized to give out that kind of information. Why are you making this so hard on me? It's my job. <laughs> I'd like to see your job description. Well, I'm afraid you'll just have to speak to Miss Johnson about that. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. <sighs> Hello. You have reached a large corporation which makes many, many phone calls. But please. I will have you escorted from the building. Look what you made me do. You made me miss her. I'm going to report your behavior to Carol. Oh, and just how do you plan to do that? <laughs> I will write her a full report. Oh, please do. I can't wait to read it. <laughs> okay, I'll call her. Oh, do call any time I sit right here at my desk. I come in with Ms. Johnson. I go out with Ms. Johnson. I have her private number. What a coincidence. So do I. <laughs> I just press this button right 
here. Okay, Mrs. Thomas, you win. What do I have to do to see Miss Johnson? All this valuable time wasted, and now you've gotten down to business. Just tell me what I have to do. One, attach your business card to your materials. Two, give me your materials. I will take them into Miss Johnson for her to review. Three, if Miss Johnson wishes to see you, I will call you and make an appointment. One, two, three, basic business practice. Have I communicated that to you thoroughly? Here are my materials. My card is already attached. Is there anything else I need to do? No, that will be fine. Thank you, Miss Adams. Now, if you will excuse me, I have work to do. Oh, of course you do. And I do so appreciate all of your help. Oh, you're entirely welcome, Miss Anderson. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mildred. <laughs> Miss Johnson, you came back earlier than you told me you were coming back. How did your stress test go? Oh, that's too bad. But it's all right. I've taken care of everything here at the office for you. I'll be right in with your mail. Now, that is a perfect example of a very difficult communication exchange. But if you noticed, I stayed relaxed, calm, <laughs> and effective. <laughs> or maybe not. Wait a minute.